So hi guys, Richard here, your tech chef. So today we're going to talk a little bit about testing a component that we bought to make sure it's working before we actually start soldering on it. Um, most dealers won't allow you to take back or refund you or even give you a warranty on a board that's already been soldered on. And it makes sense really, because you could have done something wrong and then burnt the board out. So this is a good way for us to make sure that the board that we bought, and in this case it's a board made by Matex Systems called an FC Hub 6S. It's a uh, power distribution board which can take 3 to 6S LiPo, has a current sensor on it and has two regulators, a 5 and a 10 volt regulator. So we'd like to make sure that the 5 and the 10 volt regulator are actually doing what they're supposed to and delivering the correct voltages to the correct path. So what we need is, obviously, a multimeter, a LiPo battery with a, a set of crocodile clips with an XT60 connected to the other end so we can connect it to the LiPo. Then we're going to connect this whole thing up to the board, positive and negative. The positive is on the here, and the negative is on this side. So negative is always going to be black positive is always going to be red and we have power exactly as we'd expect but that's not that doesn't quite prove anything to us at the moment other than the board is getting power what we need to make sure is that whatever voltages these regulators are advertised to deliver that they actually deliver to the to the correct voltage and at the correct pads there's two 5 volt out outputs one on this side and one on this side and there is also a 10 volt output on that side so, just to prove that our theory actually works and that the board is getting power, let's just check on the ESC pads. And there we go, 16.9 volt or 16.8 volt. That basically tells us that the full VCC power and voltage from that pack are actually being delivered to the pads. Let's check on the other corner of the board. And again, the same, 16.9 volts. So we're pretty happy that this full pack voltage is reaching the ESC pad and that's perfect. What we need to now make sure is that the 5 volt and the 10 volt are also doing the same. So let's go to the 5 volt first. Ground and 5 volt. And there we go, 5 volt. It's correct. And on the other side again the same. Let's check the 5 volt again. And there we go, 5 volt. So that we know that that's correct. And the same again, we'll just choose any ground battery, we'll check the 10 volt and 9.9 .9 volt. That's perfect. That's just what we want to see. So that's great. We now know that the board is working, that the two re regulators are supplying the correct voltages to those pads. But let's say there was something wrong and then we, the board wasn't actually doing what we expected it to do. How would we then test that after you've soldered it? Well, that's quite easy. Turn the multimeter to what they call a continuity and we're going to go away and test for continuity now making sure that there's a full closed circuit running from point A to point B so we would expect you know for all intents and purposes if we took the, the continuity across the positive and negative pads there would be no reading which is absolutely correct if you crossed if you bridge those two pads and you heard that beep it would mean that there's a short circuit somewhere on your board that's allowing continuity between the positive and the negative and that's not good it's never going to be good so let's just say we went from a negative to a negative and that's correct because we want it we want a closed circuit on the negative rail we want everything that's in negative to be in negative and everything that's in positive to be in positive well, let's see that again that's the positive rail that's the negative rail. But if we bridge the two, there should be nothing. And that's correct. So for all intents and purposes, I'm pretty confident that this board is fit for purpose. It does what it says on the tin. And I'm quite happy to put the NY quadcopter now and go for a fly. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys found this interesting. If you do, please like and subscribe. And like I always say, fly carbon butterfly, fly.